What's going on everyone? It's Sean from All Things EV and this video is to catch you up to speed on everything we know about Tesla's upcoming pickup truck. Last week, my friend Ryan McCaffrey, who runs the podcast, a fantastic podcast, by the way, Ride the Lightning, had a chance to sit down with Elon Musk himself and ask him numerous questions, one of them being about the Tesla pickup truck. In this interview, which I'll link up down in the video description, Elon revealed some new details that we had yet heard of, one of them being the price. We don't want it to be really expensive. Um, you know, I think it's got to start at less than $50,000. It's got to be like $49,000 starting yeah. price max, you know, as, 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 and ideally less. Um, you know, even I think you just made a lot of people really happy who are interested in the truck by saying that. Yeah. Um, you know, it's, it's just, it just can't be unaffordable. You know, it's just got to be, it's got to be something that's, that's affordable. So, um, now there'll be versions of the car that are more expensive, but, or the truck that are more expensive, but the, the, you've got to be able to get a, a really great truck for $49,000 or less. And the next thing that Elon shared was about the performance of this pickup truck. It's going to be a truck that is more capable than other trucks. Like it'll be a better truck than, 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 you know, say an equivalent. Like you know, the goal is like be a, be a better truck than an F one fifty in terms of truck like functionality, um, and be a better sports car than a standard nine eleven. <laughs> That's the aspiration. That catches you up to speed on everything that was mentioned about the pickup truck in this podcast. Let's go back in time, though, and talk about everything that we know publicly that Elon has mentioned. The first one comes from May 24, 2013, which is insane. That's a long time ago. That's one year after they started producing the Model S. In this tweet, Elon says, would love to do a pickup truck, something with ultra low center of gravity for sports car handling, dynamic air suspension, and mega torque. The next comment comes on February 7th, 2017. Elon responds to a user on Twitter who asks if Tesla will make a, an upgrade from the P100D to the P110D. Elon responds, no plans to take X, S, or 3 above 100 kilowatt hours semi necessarily and pickup truck maybe will go above. On December 26, 2017, Elon says, I promise that we will make a pickup truck right after Model Y. Have had the core design engineering elements in my mind for almost five years. Am dying to build it. And on June 26, 2018, Elon Musk doubles down on the pickup truck, asking Twitter for features they would like to see in their upcoming truck. We learn that the truck will have power outlets allowing use of heavy duty 240 volt high power tools in field all day, no generator needed. The string of insight continues where Elon says that the truck will have dual motor all wheel drive with crazy torque and a suspension that dynamically adjusts for load. Those will be standard. When a Twitter user states, I'm six foot nine inches, so I'd absolutely be interested in an eco-friendly truck or SUV capable of accommodating tall drivers, Elon Musk, I love this, says, sir, this will not be some dainty little buttercup of a truck. Driver's seat will be big enough to fit Andre the Giant. Love that guy. When asked if it'll have a 30,000 pound towing capacity, Elon responds with 300,000 pound towing capacity. Now, though I don't think the truck will officially have towing specs of 300,000 pounds, I think it could very likely have 80,000 pound towing capacity, very similar to the Tesla semi-truck. We already know that the semi-truck uses Model 3 motors, and it makes sense for that Tesla pickup truck to use those same motors as well. When asked if the truck will have a 500 plus mile range, Elon says four to 500 mile option, definitely higher, maybe. This particular tweet, I believe, has been since deleted, but on the 26th, Elon did say that the rear gate should rotate on a four bar linkage and drop down to the ground or close, kind of like some big trucks have. It's possible that it was deleted because he misspelled rear and added a T at the beginning. When someone asked if a six-year-old would be able to be detected crossing the front 
of the truck while sitting in the driver's seat, Elon said that the camera and onboard neural net should detect. If very close, below 15 feet, will show up on ultrasonics. Now, all of these things that have been covered so far have to do with specs of the truck. We get the first insight into what it will actually look like on a podcast by Kara Swisher when she sat down with Elon Musk on Recode. Then we've got uh, the, the, the pickup truck, which actually I'm personally most excited about. The Why is that? Well, I can't talk about the details, but it's going to be like a really futuristic, like cyberpunk Blade Runner pickup truck. Okay. What does that mean? It's going to be awesome. Okay. It's going to be amazing. Who are you trying to sell that to? So it'll be a hot stuffing. Mm-hmm. Who, who, who you want? my heart. And he's like, I find it. It's like, oh, this is great. Who do you want to sell that to? People who buy F whatever. You know, I'm not, I, you know, I actually don't know if a lot of people will buy this pickup truck or not, but I don't care. Okay. <laughs> I mean, I do care eventually, you know, like, sure, I care, you know, like we, we want to get, you know, get gasoline and diesel pickup trucks off the road. Right. Um, and, but if like, if I find like, you know, like I'm personally super excited. By the. By this pickup truck. Cause it's, it's, it's something I've been wanting to make for a long time. And I've been iterating with uh, sort of designs with with uh, with Franz, and like it's like no, you know, it's like I, I really want something that's like super futuristic cyberpunk. Which, if there's only a small number of people that that like that truck, I guess we'll make a more conventional truck in the future. But it's the thing that I am personally most most fired up about. It's going to have a lot of titanium. Titanium. Um, okay. What else? It's, it's like you'll you'll see it. Racing like, stripes. What? No, I'm teasing. I'm teasing. No, it's going to be like I. I think this is the kind of thing somebody would want to buy, even if they don't normally buy a pickup truck. Right. So anyway, so I'm like, that's personally what I'm most excited about. But like I said, it, it could be just like, okay, I'm, I weirdly like it and other people don't. That's, mm -hmm. that's certainly possible. Um, yeah, but we're going to make it anyway, and then and maybe we'll just have a niche audience. I don't know. Yeah. If it does, then we'll, I guess we'll make a more conventional pickup truck. All of these things seem really great. You might be wondering, when will Tesla show off this truck? Elon has mentioned several times on earnings calls that he's really excited about this truck and he plans on showing it off this year, 2019. On the Q4 2018 earnings call that Tesla had earlier this year, Elon got even more specific by stating that he would show it off this summer. And then the Tesla pickup truck, uh, we might be ready to unveil that this summer. It'll be something quite unique, but like anything else. Now, as of this video, we're into July 2019. Summer technically is several months long, so could be June, could be July, or I guess technically it could be August too. What are my thoughts on this pickup truck? Well, it sounds incredibly exciting. It, it seems like the specs of this truck will be far and above anything that we've ever seen from a pickup truck, even larger pickup trucks like the F-250 and 350. With Elon's recent statement on the Ride the Lightning podcast, it sounds like they are going to be marketing this in terms of size to the Ford F-150, which is probably really smart. We know that the F-150s and more in general, the F-Series by Ford sells extremely well. In fact, last year in 2018, the F-Series sold nearly 1 million vehicles. If Tesla can take just a small fraction of that, they will do extremely well. The other thought I have about this is how will the Tesla pickup truck compete with Rivian's truck? It's really too soon to say how they'll match up, but I've got a feeling that Elon and Tesla will want to top the Rivian R1T in terms of specs. Where Rivian, I think, will have a leg up is this niche that they've been playing to of this outdoors wilderness type market. Oh, and I almost forgot one more thing. During that Ride the Lightning podcast, Ryan had an opportunity to ask about the teaser image of the truck that was shown at the Model Y event. Uh, I don't know if you're willing to, to help the internet out right now or if we're just going to have to wait for the proper reveal, but in that teaser image, which end of the truck was that? The front. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> People were convinced either way. Sure. I don't know if you followed any of the chatter, but it was uh, people were like, is it the back? Is it the front? <laughs> Nobody yeah. was quite sure. 
What are your thoughts on this pickup truck? If the price range is between fifty and eighty thousand dollars, would it be a truck that you would consider purchasing? Sound off in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you all on the next video.